Good morning. We welcome you to St. Joseph's Episcopal Church, the Church on the Way, with open arms and open hearts. Please be reverent while we worship. We encourage you to fully participate in our service with responses and with song. Please use the chat to add your prayers, thanksgivings, and petitions before the sermon so that we may include them in the service. Thank you. Good morning, St. Joseph family and friends. Today, our officiant is the Reverend Canon Karen Davis Lawson, respectfully known to us as Mother Karen. And the voice of the people is Percival Jones. Welcome.
Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along the right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You spread a table before me in the presence of those who, who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, church. A reading from Acts the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 5 through 12. Sorry. The rulers, elders, and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Annas, the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly family. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This is Jesus, the stone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under the heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle Q, a song of Christ's goodness. Jesus, as a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying we are born to new life. By your anguish and labor we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness, we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness for the beauty of heaven. May your love prepare us. The Epistle, a reading from John's first letter, chapter 3, verses 16 through 24. We know by this that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God and we receive from him whatever we ask 
because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this, we know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John, chapter 10, verses 11 to 18. <clears throat> Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the father knows me and I know the father. 
and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Good morning. <clears throat> I am the Reverend Karen Davis Lawson, Rector of St. David's Episcopal Church in Cambria Heights. And no, if you plan to worship at St. Joseph's Queens Village, you did not tune in to the wrong service. Today is Good Shepherd Sunday and the deanery clergy are switching it up a bit. We're playing musical pulpits. Um, Father Vergara is off at St. Albans, and I am here with you, and I'm delighted to be here. Today is Good Shepherd Sunday, and often our sermons are focused on the temperament of the sheep and their tendency to wander, their tendency to get lost. The good news is that God is a good shepherd who will diligently search for lost sheep. Today's gospel is part of the wider context of the healing of the man born blind. Jesus heals the man on the Sabbath. The synagogue officials question the man and his parents about his miraculous healing. And his parents confirm he was born blind, but do not admit to knowing Jesus because they're afraid of being cast out of the synagogue. The man testifies that Jesus is responsible for his healing, <clears throat> excuse me, and that Jesus is a prophet. His testimony gets him driven out of the synagogue. After being cast out, Jesus finds the man, and after speaking with him, the man becomes his disciple. The man becomes part of Jesus' community of followers. The community offers kinship and security. Just like the man born blind, the pandemic passed us out of our church buildings. Many congregations have returned to their buildings, but St. Joseph does not have its own building to return to. And yet the church persists and exists. St. Joseph exists because the church is not a building. The building we call a church is a sacred space set apart for the faithful to gather for worship and fellowship. The gathering of the faithful, the people of God assembled in worship and activated for ministry is the church the body of Christ. Jesus, the good shepherd, promises to find us wherever we are and to bring us into the fold where we will be nurtured, protected, and have abundant life. We will have love, fellowship, and relationship. Jesus tells the crowd, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. In Jewish tradition, a shepherd is a royal term and a good shepherd refers to the Messiah who will set God's people free. I am is God's name, the name revealed to Moses when God commissions him to bring God's people out of Egypt. And we, created in God's image and likeness are the sheep. God, the good shepherd, laid down his life for humanity in the incarnation, 
by stepping out of eternity into time and becoming a human being in the form of Jesus of Nazareth. And Jesus gave up his life on the cross, his arms stretched wide, waiting to embrace us. Psalm 23 describes the attributes of God and what that means to his children, what that should mean to us. This Psalm and the Lord's Prayer were two things I was required to memorize as a child. Of course, I memorized the King James version of the Psalm. The Psalm is often used at funerals and at her request, it was sung at my mother's funeral. I did not appreciate it then, but as I read it now, um, it provides comfort. There is comfort in knowing that God knows each of us intimately. Out of the billions of people in the world, God knows everything there is to know about you and me. God knows the good, the bad, the ugly, and even things that we may not know about ourselves. No matter how crazy or difficult, <clears throat> excuse me, or stressful or stick scary our lives may be, God chooses each of us, loves each of us, accompanies each of us, and will hold on to us through all of life, even through death, into the new and resurrected life God offers to each of us. God's care and authority are described for us in the words of the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The truth is we want many things. Some of us want more money because we believe it will solve all our problems. Some of us want power and influence. What the shepherd provides is for what we want, but is it in accordance with what God knows that we should have? God is with us in the ups and downs of life. And that is the assurance of the psalm. But you may be thinking, how is that possible when there are so many in the community are hungry or on the verge of homelessness or have been wrongly incarcerated? How is this possible when there are wars and protests? How can we imagine God as a good shepherd when there is so much need? The abundant life of which Jesus speaks is not necessarily about abundance in this world abundance in years of life or in wealth or status or accomplishment or even peace. It is life that is abundant in the love of God made known in Jesus Christ, love that overflows to others. It is eternal life because its source is in God who is eternal and in Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. Psalm 23 is a very personal psalm. It calls each of us to, personal relation, to a personal relationship with Jesus, the Good Shepherd. No matter what craziness is going on around us, God is with us. God is with us when we feel vulnerable, when we're strong, when we're happy, when we're sad, God is with us. The shepherd will restore our souls 
and lead us from one pasture to another. Elizabeth Johnson states, amidst all the other voices that evoke fear, make demands or give advice, the voice of the Good Shepherd is a voice of promise, a voice that calls us by name and claims us as God's own. Dear people of God, God will not abandon you. God has not abandoned you. Amidst all the voices that seek to evoke fear, make demands or give advice, the voice of the Good Shepherd is the voice of promise, a voice that calls us by name and claims us as God's own. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O God, whose Son, Jesus, is the Good Shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, hear our prayer for this, our parish family at St. Joseph's Episcopal Church of Queens Village. Strengthen the faithful, revive the inactive, restore the penitent, and inspire us for mission. Grant to us all things necessary for our common life. Provide for our ministries and bring us to unity of heart and mind through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, 
we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus, you are the good shepherd of your people. Hear the cry of your flock as we pray. Good shepherd, receive our prayer. Good shepherd, you call us to follow where you lead. Give us ears to know your voice. Give us courage and strength to lay down our lives for one another as even you lay down your life for us. Good shepherd. Receive our prayers. Good shepherd, gather to yourself the people of the world so there will be one flock under your reign. Forgive us for our hatred and divisions. Good shepherd. Receive our prayer. Good Shepherd, you have blessed us with green pastures and still waters, places in your world where we find rest and renewal. We thank you for the beauty of the earth. Good Shepherd, receive our prayer. Good Shepherd, even when wolves attack, you never leave your beloved ones. Even in the valley of the shadow of death, you are present. Be with all victims of violence. Comfort them in their distress. Good Shepherd. Receive our prayer. Good Shepherd, you love us so much that you call us each by name. We pray for the healing of our brothers and sisters in your name. Good Shepherd. Receive our prayer. Good Shepherd, you are our salvation. Grant all who have died a dwelling place in your house forever. Good Shepherd. Receive our prayer. Holy Parent, in your tenderness and compassion, hear our prayers. May they be to you as a precious offering from the treasure of our hearts. We present them to you because you are faithful and your love endures forever and ever. Amen. The Adams family give thanks and praise to the Almighty in thanksgiving for Oren Adams, who celebrated a milestone birthday on Wednesday, April 17th. May God continue to bless him with his mercies, grace, love, strength, and happiness, and many more birthdays to come. Given with love by Roxanne, Cerise, Isaac, Isaiah, and Chris. The Sunday School asks for God's blessings upon Cameron Sledge and Jordan Sams for their birthdays on Thursday, April 18th, and Saturday, April 20th, respectively. May God continue to bless and guide them. O oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Most gracious God, look with favor upon these, your servants, as they celebrate their wedding anniversary. By the power of the Holy Spirit, pour out your abundance of your grace and blessing, that they may continue to cherish each other and continue to grow in love and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find everywhere. Preserve those who travel, surround them with your loving care, 
protect them from any danger, and bring them in safety to their journey's end, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue to pray for the people of the world, recovering from earthquakes, floods, hurricanes, fire, and other natural disasters. We pray for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza, in occupied Palestine. We pray for the hungry, the thirsty, the homeless, and the suffering. We pray for the ongoing war in Ukraine and the genocides in Palestine and Congo. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue to pray for Pearl Nurse and her family as they mourn the loss of Ahing Chang, cousin to Pearl Nurse. May he rest in peace and rise in glory and his memory be a blessing to all who knew him. Sandra Jones asks us to pray for the Quattrochi family, particularly for daughter Gina Marie and wife Marianne as they journey through Ralph's battle with advanced dementia and Alzheimer's. Wendy Riley asks us to pray for Gwendolyn Goldine Williams, cousin of Elizabeth Riley. And we ask you to include the following people and families in your daily prayers. Afwa, Agatha, Allison, Ansel, Anne, Anthony, Audi, Audley, Audrey, Avril, Azaque, Barbara, Beverly, Cesarine, Chandra, Charles, Christopher, Clarence, Claudette, Crystal, Daniela, Daphne, A, Daphne P, David, Deborah, Desiree, Desmond G, and Desmond S, Doreen, Dorothy, Dossie, Ida, Idris, Edson, Eric, Eulalie, Fitzroy, Freddie, George, Gloria, Greta, Harold, Heather, Hyacinth, James, Janelle, John E. and John L. Jonathan, Joy, Juleen, Justice, Kathleen, Keisha, Larry, Layton, Leonard, Lois, Marcia, Maria, Marilyn, Marina, Marlon, Marshall, Mary, Maureen, Melissa A. and Melissa A. Michael, Michelle, Natalie, Nicola, Nisha, Noel J. and Noel K. Norma J. and Norma M. Orinthia, Marilyn, Pat W. and Pat Z. Peggy, Peter, Rosa, Rosalind M. and Rosalind S. Rose, Rupert, Ruth, Sade, Sheila, Shelley, uh, and Shelley R. Sonia, Sister Sheila, Verily, Yolanda. You may now speak aloud the names of those for whom you would like to pray. Goody and Gear. Charmaine's mother. Gina, Marianne, and Ralph. And Michael. God of all power and wisdom, by the might of your command, drive away from our bodies all sickness and all infirmity. Grant to your servants your healing touch. 
so that their weakness may vanish and their, str and their strength renewed through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. When you are blessed by our ministry, we invite you to donate. And support us, please visit our website at stjosephqv.org slash donate, or scan this QR code by opening the camera on your cell phone, scanning this image, and clicking on the yellow link that pops up. Thank you.
Let us pray. Creator God, you made the heavens and the earth and all that is in them. You have blessed us with your abundant abiding love so that we may be inspired by inspired to live generously. From your plentiful gifts, we give you our own first fruits, the gathering of our time, talent, and treasure. May the, they be a blessing to the world. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessing of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. To Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. May Almighty God, who has redeemed us and made us his children through the resurrection of his Son, our Lord, bestow upon you the riches of this blessing. Amen. May God, who through the water of baptism has raised us from sin into newness of life, make you holy and worthy to be united with Christ forever. Amen. May God, who has brought us out of bondage to sin into truth and lasting freedom in the Redeemer, bring you to your eternal inheritance. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Oh, oh.